Hi, this is Raheem Zilfakaveli from Excel Basement and uh, in this video we will be learning uh, one of the most awesome feature of uh, Microsoft Power Query that is appending data from multiple sheets into the current workbook. So we can do this by Power Query and that's a one line simple M language code or uh, if you want to do the same task you can also use the VBA macro uh, to execute and append the data in, in one of the spreadsheet from all the other worksheets in the same workbook. So I will be telling you both methods first with the power query and then will with the VBA macro and uh, whichever you like whichever you feel comfortable with uh, you can uh, learn that and adopt that. So let's get start uh, uh, in this video we will be focusing about uh, some of the assumptions right and the on those assumptions are that um, the first is we have in all the worksheets we have the same number of columns all right and uh, those columns uh, have that certain data and uh, in all the spreadsheet it can be um, like for for example in in the sheet a you can see that in the region a uh, there are around uh, 57 rows and in the sheet C for, for the region C is there are 41 rows. So there are not equivalent rows in all these spreadsheets. There are unequal rows depend on the data uh, according to the region. But what we have is uh, every region has a different sheet and we want to, uh, for example, for example, we can say that consolidate the data. Uh, we, actually, we want to append the data one by one in, in, in one sheet rather than creating all those sheets separately okay so uh, the the assumption is that uh, or the number of columns are same but there are unequal rows of data and we need to have all these four sheets data into one spreadsheet and later on practically it might be more than four sheets uh, in my scenario in this example i have just put four sheets and which are named a b c d region wise okay so let's get start that how we can do in power query so i've just inserted a blank worksheet and i'm using excel 2016 and and that's a office 365 subscription you can if you're using excel 2019 you need to go to data tab and from where you can uh, have the get and transform group so for, for the power query in excel 2016 or the cloud version 365 you have the data tab and get and transform data uh, for excel 2010 users you need to download the power power query add in install it and you will have that power query tab separately for excel 2013 people if you are using the professional version not the standard version because i'm not sure that the standard versions now got power pivot power query and power pivot both or not but uh, as a professional user of excel version 13 you need to uh, check the compatibility and go to the uh, uh, com add-ins and then enable it Right, if you're the professional version. So in my case, I'm using Excel 2016, um, and most of the times, uh, in most of the organizations, people are using either 16 or 19 or 13 uh, professional version. So you need to go to Data tab, so yeah. And uh, now from here, what we need to do is uh, we will go to Get Data, okay. Then from other sources, and you you can see here. A list of options available that how you can uh, get the data from the from a resource so in our case we will execute the blank query so from other sources click on blank query and now the power query editor will open and this will now this is the power query window where you have just uh, click on the new query or a blank query here in a formula bar we will write one M language code and remember that M language is a case sensitive language. So you need to write in a case sensitive format. Otherwise, it might be you write the correct code, correct language, but not the case sensitivity so that it will not execute. So I'm writing one M language code that is Excel dot current workbook. You can see that an IntelliSense giving me a suggestion that Excel dot current workbook should be right in, in like in this format, a case sensitive format. Okay, so Excel, and you can see that uh, just like an IntelliSense works in the Excel VBA macros when we create there, um, defining some properties or methods in the VBA. Similarly, um, here 
we get the IntelliSense in the formula bar of Power Query. So Excel dot current workbook. Press the tab key, and then round bracket open and close. That's it. So when you do this, um, there are two columns headers will appear. That first one is the content, and second one is name. But as you can see that below this content and a name column, there is nothing to be execute, nothing to be click on. Why? Because uh, the data which I showed you in four of the worksheets should be either in a table format or in or in a name range format. Either you create a name ranges of that data or you transform them into a table first so that you can uh, append the data from the Power Query. So we need to go again to the Excel uh, because I wanted you to learn this uh, thing either you before you make mistake. So we will discard this query and the correct method is how many sheets for every sheet for every sheet we have the data and for this data either you select the entire data or, or uh, create a name range for that. If you create name range go to formula step and click on name manager and new and then you can define a name or you can convert this data into a table format which is highly recommendable okay so go to insert tab click on table and also make sure that you have a check mark on my table as headers click on ok so when you give a normal range into a table format convert that uh, the table design tab will appear at the top and you can see the table name so i am just writing uh, for example region d here Okay, so I can recognize when I work on the Power Query. So there is a limitation in Power Query is that how they recognize the data to be append in, in Power Query is that either the data must be in a table format or, or a name range format. Okay, so this is for the region D. Again, I will go to this um, uh, region C sheet. I will create it as a in a table format and I will rename as as region C. For the region B, selecting the data, insert table format, and this is for the region B. And for the region A, select the data, click on insert table, and rename it as region A or whatever you like. Might be there is a question coming in your mind that. If, I have four sheets and I, I have made every range into a table format one by one. What if, if I have a, um, 40 sheets or a 50 or 100 sheets and uh, my ranges are not converted into a table. So then you need to uh, either you need to run a macro to identify that macro uh, to make your normal ranges in each sheet into a table format or uh, making all the data into the table format. Uh, we will go to the the new sheet which we have just inserted in this current workbook uh, now we will go to the data tab get data from other sources and then blank query okay so now the power query window will appear and in the formula bar we will be writing a code that will be equals to excel dot current workbook bracket open and close and I will press the enter key as soon as I press the enter key you can see that there are two columns the content and the name and we know that in every sheet of the region wise a b and c d we have some tables and in those tables we have the data so you can see here there is a drop down button when you click on that uh, you you can you need now you need to expand the uh, all the columns which are presented in all those tables of all worksheets so uncheck use original column name as prefix and just press ok so from all those sheets all those tables our data has been came here into one window and now you can see that here in the column of the name region d and as soon as i scroll down you can see region c then region b and region a so our data has been appended very beautifully uh, from those excel worksheets okay so after doing all this thing what we need to do is close and load okay so when i press close and load so now a sheet a new sheet has been came delete the previous key which has a uh, previous sheet which have okay. now there is a sheet 2 which we can call it as uh, all data 
right? And now our all data has been uh, appended without any VBA code, without any complex VBA code, right? And we just write one, only one M language code that was Excel.current workbook. Um, but the limitation is that in all our separate worksheets, the data should be either in a name range or in a table format so that Power Query should recognize and append the data accordingly, right? Now, the second uh, way of doing appending of the data from the multiple worksheets in the same workbook is uh, you can just go to the Google and search out for with the appropriate keywords and you will find some forums to copy the code or if you are a VBA, if, if you know the VBA, you can write the macro from the very start. And let me show you, uh, there is a macro here. You can see on my window, there is a macro which is being written. Uh, so which executes from all the sheets the data from all the sheets and uh, make a new worksheet with, within this workbook uh, the, the worksheet will be called as a master and all the data will be append accordingly as we did with the power query so let me just close this vba window and uh, let me execute the macro so for executing the macro i will press the shortcut key alt f8 and the macro name is uh, copy from worksheets when i click on run button you can see that within a second, a, a separate sheet master has been created and all the data from all those four sheets region wise have been appended. Right. So the for the macro, definitely uh, either you have to use the macro in your Excel uh, workbook. But remember that when you generally have the data in, in your Excel sheet, the extension of the Excel spreadsheet is dot Excel SX. But when you executing this kind of uh, operations in with the help of the macros, you need to save this workbook as Excel SM uh, macro enabled workbook so that, for instance, if you email this workbook to someone else or you or you change the location of the uh, workbook so that macro should be stored in X dot Excel SM. OK, remember that. So you have a choice. Either you write this kind of macros from uh, by searching in any forum or just if you are an update uh, Excel version, if you have that, you can just write Excel dot current workbook. Uh, just one liner code uh, within the Power Query and uh, your data will get appended. And one of the main advantage of Power Query is that it's dynamic. Uh, for example, uh, if the, if later on, if later on the data in the region B get expand, we get more raws in the data. Uh, in, in the for example in here in region B and uh, let me write my name here for example okay so in future uh, the data in any spreadsheets uh, gets increased so what we need to do is for example I just increase one row in in uh, region B sheet for, for with with my name entry so I will go to the all data sheet and here you can see that uh, if I come to the region B last entry, right? So I just need to go to data tab and click on refresh. As soon as I press refresh button, you can see that automatically Power Query has added that particular row uh, to that uh, existing data where we have appended the data just before, right? So if we delete some of the data from any worksheet, we just need to go to the data tab and click on refresh and it will be automatically adjusting our data. So this is the beautiful feature of Power Query. And I also told you that how you can execute in the macro uh, by the help of a macro. So it's your choice. So I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or questions coming in your mind, do comment or reply. Thank you.